everybody, this is Jen Savela with some other um, great tips about things you can use when you are using virtual learning. So the one thing is that we got last year is called Clever, um, and a lot of people don't know how to use it, and a lot of people don't know that we have it, and a lot of students don't know we have it. I asked Laura Byrne about it, and she said basically it's like a digital backpack for the students, which didn't make sense to me at the time, but it makes a lot of sense to me now. So if you go to clever.com and you just log in with Google with your normal credentials, um, it will bring up Clever. And everything that's on here is actually all of the, the sites that are available through Clever that um, I can just pull up. So instead of having to go through and pull up a different site every time I want to look at No Red Ink or Google Classroom or Socrative or Remind or whatever it is, I have it all right here on Clever. The thing is, the students have access to these things as well. Um, and you'll see on here that um, it also has um, all the stuff that our district has. Um, it'll have all the district things. It will have most of the stuff that we have, you can see here it says district, but it won't have all of the stuff that teachers have. It'll only be limited to students things unless for some reason you give them access to something. But one of the best things about this is they can go straight to their Google Drive. They can check any reminds that you might send and it also has Tyler SIS on it. So if they pull up Clever and you use any of these kinds of um, uh, applications, they can just go to one place and it's all stored right there. Now, if you're not sure if it is stored or if they have the things that you want, you can go to this library link right here and you can click on it and you can look for things based on the subject. Um, you can do it by grade level. You can do it by different types of resources. So there are lots of different types of resources you might need. So um, just because um, I don't want to have to just do English, let's look at an assessment. So on here, I'm going to look for an assessment or type tool that I can use for class. Okay. So all of these are noteworthy. In fact, I use quizzes. I used to use Kahoot and I still do, but I use quizzes all the time. Um, it's a really great tool, and I'll make another video about how to use that. But you see how these dots are right here? That means that there's more than one little slide here. So if I click on this arrow, it's going to go over one, and it's going to show the rest of it. And that's all that I, I that's there. So if I want to go most popular assessment, I've got these three, and then this tells me I have three pages. So I also have Class Hero, Happy Numbers, Spelling Classroom, and Edulastic. None of these I've used except for quizzes. So I'm interested in this formative one. So I'm going to click on it. And when I look at it, it's going to tell me all the stuff that, you know, it, it has reviews on it. It has um, how much it costs. It has what it can do. I can actually click on show more and it'll give me more information about it and all of that. And if I want to, I can install it. And what it's going to do is it's going to take a second. It's going to do that. And I'm going to say I want to. Um, allow and continue and what it will do is it will show up on my clever page so this actually brings up the formative so the actual um, app i'm not going to look at that right now i just want to show you on the clever page now when i click on clever you will see that formative is there right here so now if i ever want to bring that up again i can so one of the things we use in english a lot is no red ink so I click on that and it's going to bring up no red ink um, and I'm still teaching there. It's going to ask all that background information, but then I don't have to keep typing in everything into my browser and I don't have to worry about saving it um, to my bookmarks. So if you haven't used Clever before, I suggest using Clever. It's a really nice dashboard or um, a digital backpack to keep all of the things and all of the websites that you use. All the websites that you use are not available on Clever. They're not necessarily seamlessly um, entered, but there are a lot that are. 
So I hope that helps you understand Clever. And if you have any questions, just give me a shout out and I will help you if I can.